Now let's work on the HTML for our hero image. I'm going to lead off with a division. This division is going to have a class and I'm just going to make up the word hero because it seems appropriate. Inside that we're going to have a picture set tag. The picture tag is going to begin with a source. The source is going to have a source set attribute and I'll fill that in in a second. It also has a media query and inside here we're going to use a max dash width. The width we'll use for this first source is the width of our smallest image, which you'll if you remember is 500 pixels. The second source is just like the first one, except that the media query now matches the medium image width. And then we're ready for a standard image tag. Images have sources, and this particular source is the large one. It has an alt, and I'll just call this hero, and then we're going to have a width equals, and a height equals, and then finish it off. So what should the width and height be considering that we had three different images and three different widths and heights? Well, actually, since 2019, the width and height are a ratio. They are not related to the pixel width and height of the source image. So you could put any one of the three combinations in here. So let's go ahead and put 500 and 250. Or we could just as easily do 50 by 25. That's still a 2 to 1 ratio. So I'm going to copy this path and I'll paste it up here and change the word large to small. And then for the second one, we'll use medium. You can see over here in a very small preview, let me go ahead and use that other, there we go, see a little bit better. So there's the small one, because our browser is narrower than a maximum width of 500. Once we go a little bit wider, it now jumps to the medium but what's happening here is it's actually taking this source set and it's replacing this source down here on line 17. When we get to medium, it takes the medium source set and uses that as the path for the image source. So here we have the small image, the medium image, and the large image. Now it's not scaling with the page but it is changing based on the width of my browser.